My name is Officer Michael Tecca with the Omaha Police Department's Public Information Office. The information and videos you are about are intended to provide as we currently understand them of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on February 3rd, 2024 in the parking lot of Saul's Jewelry and Loan at 3110 L Street. This video may contain graphic images which could be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. After the nightclub had closed, a group of patrons were walking westbound through the Saul's Jewelry and Loan parking lot, at which time they were confronted by the driver and front passenger of a black Jeep Cherokee. The front passenger window of the black Jeep was down and the driver of the Jeep Cherokee reached across the front passenger and pointed a handgun at the group of patrons and two Omaha police officers, Officer Robert Saldo and Captain Jay Levitt. The Omaha police officers were off duty and were employed by Ecstasis nightclub at the time. The driver of the Jeep Cherokee then fired one round at the group of officers the officers then returned fire and the occupants of the Jeep Cherokee. The occupants of the Jeep were transported to the University of Nebraska Medical Center where they later died. This incident began at Ecstasis Nightclub located at 3050 L Street. In this surveillance video provided by Ecstasis, involved parties can be seen inside the nightclub. The involved parties are seen in the lower right corner of the video. The driver of the Jeep, identified as Fernando Rodriguez Juarez, age 26, is seen wearing a white t-shirt. The passenger of the Jeep, identified as Jonathan Hernandez Rosales, age 28, can be seen wearing a white ball cap with black bull's emblem. This next video shows the interior entrance to Ecstasis nightclub as the bar is closing. In this video, you can see Mr. Rodriguez Juarez and Mr. Hernandez Rosales exiting the nightclub in close proximity to Captain Levitt wearing a clearly marked Omaha police uniform. You can also partially see Officer Saldo who is standing to Captain Levitt's right. The next video shows the exterior of Ecstasis nightclub. In this video, you can see Mr. Rodriguez Hernandez and Mr. Hernandez Rosales at the bottom of the screen. During this video, you can see the involved parties entering into an apparent verbal altercation with a group of individuals. This argument turns physical with pushing and shoving with parties dispersing once they see Captain Levitt approaching using his flashlight. The next video shows the rear parking lot of Ecstasis nightclub. In this video, you can see Mr. Hernandez Rosales and Mr. Rodriguez Juarez running towards the black Jeep Cherokee with Mr. Rodriguez Juarez getting into the driver's seat and Mr. Hernandez Rosales getting into the front passenger seat. The black Jeep Cherokee then proceeds southbound towards the entrance to the Ecstasis nightclub parking lot. During the subsequent crime scene investigations, detectives located Mr. Hernandez Rosales' vehicle, a black Toyota Camry parked in the rear lot. 
The next video shows the black Jeep Cherokee exiting the Extasis parking lot and turning westbound onto L Street. At approximately 2.03 a.m., a group of patrons from the Ecstasis nightclub is seen in this video walking through the parking lot of Saul's Jewelry and Loan, located directly west of Ecstasis. This group contains some of the individuals involved in the prior physical altercation outside of Ecstasis. Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo are at the rear of the group of patrons, clearing the parking lot as part of their normal duties. Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo then react to the driver of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, brandishing a handgun and pointing it in their direction. The next video shows the black Jeep Cherokee entering the west entrance of Saul's parking lot and stopping to confront the group. Mr. Rodriguez Juarez can be seen raising his right hand with what appears to be a handgun directly in front of the front seat passenger, Mr. Hernandez Rosales. The Jeep is then illuminated by the officer's flashlights. Captain Levitt is seen firing his weapon at the vehicle as Officer Saldo crosses in front of the Jeep and fires his weapon. The Jeep then accelerates and almost strikes Officer Saldo as it passes by the officers. Investigators have recovered several videos from Anytime Coin Laundry at 3120 L Street. This business is located directly to the west of Saul's Jewelry and Loan. The video you are about to see is of the interior of the business. You will hear a single gunshot at the 28 second mark, followed approximately four seconds later by the volleys fired by Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo. The next video, also from Anytime Coin Laundry, shows the parking lot of Saul's Jewelry and Loan. In this video, you will see the group of patrons walking westbound and confronted by the black Jeep Cherokee. You will also see the reactions of Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo as they respond to the threat posed by the occupants of the black Jeep Cherokee. You will now hear a recording of some of Captain Levitt's radio traffic during the incident and the request for medical first responders to the scene.
Zebra 1530. 15.30, tequila, 30 second now. Shots fired. We're 88. Let's go down. Open off, try Open off, sir. Helping officer 32NL, helping officer 32NL, helping officer 32NL, shots fired. Zero four. One out of five one five two five three five eight. One out of six one one Baker five five. I'll show you on route one five one. Two zero five. Fifteen thirty. Start us a squad. Five in round. Zero five. Captain Levitt is not assigned a body worn camera as part of his normal duties as an Omaha Police Department precinct captain. Officer Saldo has an assigned body-worn camera and was wearing it at the time of the incident. However, it was not powered on at the beginning of the incident. Officer Saldo attempted to power on his BWC as the incident was unfolding and was able to capture the moments directly after the shooting. The next still photos are from Officer Saldo's BWC. They show the vehicle proceeding northbound down the alley on the west side of Sauls. The Omaha police officers are yelling numerous loud verbal commands for the vehicle to stop as it slowly proceeds north and comes to a stop against a green plastic utility box. The occupants do not respond to any of the repeated commands for them to exit the vehicle. Officer Saldo calls for a bullet resistant shield in an effort to safely approach the vehicle and take the occupants into custody. Officer Soldo uses the shield and along with backup officers approaches the black Jeep at which time the injured occupants are removed and provided medical attention by responding OPD officers and OFD medics. The investigation at the scene and subsequent round counts of the involved officers handguns revealed that a total of 21 shots were fired by the officers. Captain Levitt fired 12 rounds from his handgun and officer Saldo fired nine rounds from his handgun. The officer's handguns will undergo further forensic testing by the Omaha Police Department's Forensics Investigations Unit. Investigators recovered a 9mm Taurus G2C semi-automatic pistol from the front passenger floorboard of the black Jeep Cherokee. The handgun consists of a black polymer frame and white and silver aftermarket finished slide. In addition, a spent 9mm casing was located in the back seat of the black Jeep Cherokee. The location of the spent casing is consistent with the positioning of the handgun at the time it was fired as if fired out of the front passenger window of the black Jeep Cherokee. This is consistent with the statements of both officers and an independent witness indicating that a gunshot was fired from the black Jeep Cherokee during the incident. The Taurus handgun was loaded with an extended magazine containing five rounds of ammunition and one round in the chamber. The head stamps on both the ammunition in the handgun and the spent casing in the back seat were identical and not consistent with the spent casings fired by the officers during the incident. Both Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo provided voluntary statements to the Omaha Police Department officer involved investigations team. Neither officer had seen any surveillance videos prior to their interviews. During their interviews, both involved officers made statements consistent with and which corroborate the video footage you have just seen. In addition, both Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo told investigators that they witnessed a gunshot being fired from inside the black Jeep Cherokee in the direction of the group of patrons in the Saul's parking lot. Investigators have conducted criminal history background checks on both involved parties. The driver, Fernando Rodriguez Suarez, has a minimal law enforcement contact history in Omaha. Immigration and Customs Enforcement reported that Mr. Rodriguez Juarez had a prior arrest in Shelby County, Iowa, during which his place of birth was recorded as Mexico. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services systems show no record of lawful entry or presence for a person by this name and date of birth. A search of DHS indices, including processing systems, international flight records, visa applications, and border entry records also found no records. The front seat passenger, Jonathan Steven Hernandez Rosales, is a citizen and national of Nicaragua who was encountered by the U.S. Border Patrol on August 3, 2022 at Eagle Pass. 
Records show he waded across the Rio Grande and entered the U.S. in contrast to immigration law. Hernandez Rosales was placed in removal proceedings and assigned to the ICE Alternatives to Detention Program. On October 20th, 2022, Hernandez Rosales was no longer required to participate in the ATD program. Hernandez Rosales' next immigration court hearing was scheduled for October 14th, 2025. Per Omaha Police Department policy, the Mexican and Nicaraguan consulates were notified immediately after next of kin notifications were made on Saturday, February 3rd. Captain Jay Levitt is a 25-year veteran of the Omaha Police Department and commands the Northeast Precinct. Officer Robert Saldo is an eight and a half year veteran of the Omaha Police Department and is assigned to the Gang Suppression Unit. Multiple independent witness statements, numerous surveillance videos, and the statements of Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo verify the information provided in this critical incident briefing. Investigators from the Nebraska State Patrol and Douglas County Sheriff's Office assisted the Omaha Police Department officer involved investigations team with this investigation per state statute. At the conclusion of the interviews of Captain Levitt and Officer Saldo, the Douglas County Attorney's Office was provided a full briefing on this incident with the facts known at this time. This incident is the subject of a criminal investigation to be reviewed by the Douglas County Attorney's Office and is also the subject of an administrative investigation. Conclusions about whether the actions of the officers are consistent with department policy and the law will not be made until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. Per Nebraska state statute, a grand jury will be convened to review this incident. This video was intended to inform and educate the public about a critical incident in our community. The Omaha Police Department, in partnership with our community, provides impartial, ethical, and professional law enforcement services and protection. We strive to maintain the trust and confidence of our citizens while working to improve the quality of life. Thank you for watching.